Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mini Metro. This time I'm actually excited because we will be doing it in Melbourne, which is my hometown. What we do? So looks like our main goal is to score 300 on Melbourne so that we can unlock the next one. But given that um we seem to be doing well, the last episode in Berlin had a bit of trouble, but um hopefully it won't be so bad this time around. I'm actually wondering which section of Melbourne this place is because um I don't actually quite recognize this river because I'm just trying I'm just trying to think of um what river it could be really because it's um I know I know in the C B D there's sort of like the Yaw River that sort of goes downwards so it's um maybe um, yeah I, I don't know which section of Melbourne they, they've taken to get this at least this map of the rivers to Yeah which is I really don't know. I'm stumped. I will have to look this up later. And um, but uh, since I'm probably lazy with the editing, I probably won't bother to look, put the map on. But you know, it probably doesn't matter. Otherwise, you know, this is just a game. We could just make up all kinds of maps. And then um, since and um, one one of the other things I've sort of just noticed is that in terms of just like this whole simplicity of it all, there is like not not a whole lot of importance in um like. In sort of like designing rivers across levels, I, I just feel like it's not something that's really all that important. So um, yeah, I mean, it's, in the end, it's probably not not that big of a deal. So I'm I'm not gonna fret too much about it. Although I'm actually wondering what this area on the left is, since the map seems to be expanding out a bit. But um, looks like the first week is coming out soon, so hopefully we will start to see some progress. Good thing we have three three bridges here, so which means that things should be happening soon. And we will start by extending this green one over. And then again, as always, we will try to establish a sort of a nice loop system segreg um and then sort of just try and get a better intuition of how we should sort of like segregate our stations. Let me just take a sip of my tea here. Hmm. Yeah, the other thing though is that because we've, we've got, we've only got like this one place to cross that is so, as a result, I'm not too particularly worried for the time being, but um, nevertheless, it looks like we're sort of just inching across the map a little. I'm not quite sure what these things are, um, but uh, hopefully we'll find out fairly soon. So. Tram, add a tram to a new or existing line. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> Melbourne. Melbourne and its trams, and I thought we were dealing with trains. So I was like thinking. Yeah, I was I was asking myself. I was asking myself where is this in Melbourne with regards to its train stations? <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so what I'm gonna I'm gonna link this over so this this gets a nice loop loop going around so that it makes transport a little easier. Um, and the, the one thing to keep in mind is that we cannot sort of like with the green one we cannot sort of like do a mini loop within. It's got to be a whole loop or nothing. So with that, I'm just gonna link this here. Keep the straight line going. We've got two lines with two trams, not locomotives doing our work for us. I'm actually wondering um, how this map is actually going to further expand out a bit and then the other thing I'm thinking about is that now that it's trams, I'm trying to think of which areas in Melbourne is actually tram related so um, but still this is not ringing any bells, I, I'm not sure what these structures on the left are meant to be so I am still at a bit of a loss. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, we seem to be getting well with just two lines only, although it definitely does seem to appear... Pardon me, words, words, words. It does seem to appear that we will need a third line soon, so why not start now? And I think here we'll sort of keep this in case looping here, and then um, I guess the other thing I want to think about is um, if I'm having a loop that extends across, how many stations maximum should it look through on the other side? 
So that's kind of one of the other things I'm wondering at the moment. So I know I've got no breaches at the moment. So here it's probably best to extend this and make it look super awkward. Which is, yeah, it's I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to work out, but no, not a big deal. So, um, okay, so it looks like we kind of got a, like a central hub of um, station, part of me, station ends. But here it looks like it could be possible congestion problems. But here, at least with the green, at least with the darker green loop here, we can extend sort of around with the stations around here. Ah, there seems to be a bit, bit of an inconsistency. You have a new locomotive for your metro. What you say is the tram here, whereas in the previous episode, you say it's locomotive, but. Yeah, um, okay, so with that, we're gonna grab another line just to. I think it's best to secure all the lines first because after that, then we can get to choose between all the other options. But I guess, in terms of not knowing what what options we might get next, like it's like whether the lines will actually come next or it will be the carriages or like actual stations or like a station upgrade, that sort of thing. So it's still too early to say for the time being, but um, to be on the safe side, it's I think it's a, like, I think it's a decent idea to, yeah, I think it's a decent idea just to grab all your lines first so that you've just got something for emergency measures, so, alright, so we've got two circles here, there's no, there's no real point doing a line here, but, um, the, the one thing to point out is that we are lacking bridges, so, I would definitely have to be careful if more stations appear here. So that will definitely be something to think about. As predicted. Alright, so now the, the green line seems to be getting a little overburdened. So I think... Uh, okay, I'm going to pause this whole thing. Um, and what I want to... No, actually. No, let me propose an idea first. We have one short line that sort of goes through all the tricky areas and sort of just ferries stuff across. The problem with that is that the stations on those will very easily get overcrowded if I'm not careful with the station selection. So, it, taking a look now, we've got a whole bunch of circle stations, we've only got one square station. So, it, I feel like this one square station is definitely crucial to be included on the line just to make sure that um, we don't get any crowding issues, so why don't we just rework this orange one? Uh, no, I can't do that actually. So, okay, so actually, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this early as to hopefully avoid problems in future. So what I'm gonna do is detach this green one. Oh boy. Okay. Now what I want to do now is that. I'm going to get a line that uh, goes through here and then that goes through here and it's got one unique station all the way through and then yep and then okay all right now we, we, get, we, we need to do a few more loops so we definitely need one for this here to, to a circle um, back to a circle, back to, back to a triangle and back to a square, okay. And then hopefully we'll get another loop down here. Although that's definitely, that's definitely a bit early to put one here. And um, I think definitely for now this means we can just put the trains on. What, what is this one? This one back and then hopefully get things rolling a bit more so I think for the meantime while we don't have the extra line hmm. yeah it's tricky I, I'm not liking this um this com complexity of this uh, okay so let's get this this will communicate with the orange a bit more and in the least should take some load off for the most part. So um, I'm noticing here there's a bit of congestion and it's not directly linked to a circle one. So I'm just gonna pause this one and then um oh man I, I gotta okay. Easy now. 
Now I'm going to link the triangle here and I'll put a triangle in a circle, circle, triangle. Okay, that should be a bit better. Okay, it looks like we're getting a bit overburdened, but thankfully we've got one bridge here. So that should take the stress off a bit. And then hopefully we don't have to worry about. Um, yeah, hopefully we won't have to worry too much about. Um, I'm already worrying. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, new tram, great. Uh, do I want do I want a new line or do I do I want a new carriage? Um, I want a new carriage. I'm going to attach the carriage to the orange one. I'm going to link this orange orange one. Uh, I can't do that. Let's do that instead. No? Oh, shoot. Um, okay. So this green, I'm going to link back here. And I'm going to link the orange here. Maybe we don't need to worry about that too much just yet. Um, but certainly this. Um, okay, so there's a star, blue. We're definitely going to link the orange to this one as well. And um, okay, I think what I need to do. Okay, I really. This, this green one is really starting to annoy me a bit because it's just. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess. So let's just undo all that and then um, just sort of give myself a bit of time to think about where do I want to, what do I want to do with this dark green one. So here, I feel like it's a bit pointless to loop something around here. So it's like, let's get this here. Alright, that looks a bit more manageable. But certainly, looks like we. Mm, yeah, yeah. The annoying thing is that this light green and this magenta one is already sort of already occupying the same spot, so it feels a bit redundant. So, and, and it looks like we're getting a bit of trouble here. So, what I want to do now? Okay, so I've got triangles and squares. There's a square here. There's a triangle here. But that's dependent on the orange. So, what do I want to do? Do I want to? I think I'll put another carriage on the orange. That should hopefully just. You're supposed to go here. Let me drag you over here. Okay, you know what? I'll drag this orange someplace else where your efforts will be appreciated a bit more. But certainly, I was probably panicking a bit too much for nothing. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, so that's definitely taken care of, but... Okay, this is probably to be expected, but thankfully since we've added an extra extra carriage to this tram, those, at least along this light blue and orange line, should not be too much of a problem. I think the least I can do is to add an, an additional carriage to this blue one, and then everything should kind of be like fine and dandy. So I probably should not have to worry about it too much. But yeah, look, so, uh, okay, there's a potential problem. This blue is transporting triangles and squares. Although these stations do not have triangles and squares, so these should be like orange only. So I'm wondering what to do here. My, I think the best best I, I think the best means of action is to okay i need to detach this green one. Oh boy now i have to do this all over again okay okay what i'm thinking is that i want to bring this blue to a, a triangle and a square to to a triangle and a square um yeah i'm not quite liking this idea but um yeah, it's dealing with the triangle and the square problem, so um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes from there. 
let's reattach this this darker grey one here and then we'll see how things go but certainly um, once the next weekend passes we'll be giving a, a bit of extra attention to these because we've, we've certainly got a bit of a burden on our hands here You know, this boot is starting to taking a little too long to travel now, so it's getting a bit worrying. Not gonna lie, I'm, I am a bit concerned, and um, I think uh, I'm such a klutz. Okay, um, let's bring this back here, yeah, and then get back to the train. Okay, this should be a bit better. I think um, this should be fine. New tram tunnels, tunnels. Yes, tunnels are a good thing. Um, but do, do I need tunnels or do I need a line? I'm gonna go for tunnels. That, that that gives me a bit more flexibility. And okay, oh my goodness, I'm so excited now. Um, what do I want to do? Um, what I want to do now is reorder all my goddamn train stations. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, it looks like a train station can only take three at most, so... But I think this orange one will be good enough to keep busy. And then... Yeah. Uh, this one's got a link to a triangle. And then back, back to a square. And then I need to add an extra train to one of these. And then let's hope these work out. Oh boy. Thank you. Tunnels. Yes, stroke of luck right there. Okay, we we're past 400 damage. We've definitely unlocked and exceeded, which is which is excellent. So I don't have too much to worry about. Now this. This is something to worry about because now it feels like I'm, just, I'm extending this light green train a little too much. So certainly when we get like a carriage or something of the sort. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm wondering, should I extend this blue line to include this oval shaped one? Probably not for the time being. However, I do need to pay attention now to this green and magenta one. Okay, I, I, I need to pause. <laughs> oh boy, okay. And then I'm going to extend this one over here. Which is probably... You know, I, I, I honestly don't have any clue what I'm doing is good or not. All I can, all I can, all I can say is that I, I can just look at the results, see how things are going. If there is minimal congestion, then we'll probably be going fairly well. So, right now, I think we're going fairly well. Mm, just finishing my tea there, and then, okay. Sorry, sorry if that metal rattling is a bit too sensitive for you, but you won't have to worry about it anymore for this video. So, I'm quite excited. We're handling, we built a tram network that works fairly well. And now this is starting to bug, this is starting to tick me off a little. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to detach, no, 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 I actually do not want to use a tunnel. I do not want to use a tunnel. This is annoying me. I do not want to use a tunnel. So, I'm going to attach this there, and I'm going to detach this here. No, but I can't do that because... Ah, okay, so, what maybe should I remap my re should i remap my light green line i think that's probably the best course of action so let's just do this the whole way let's take the complete line off uh okay actually no this is good here and then and then we need to just take a no we need this triangle 
we need this triangle and we need this square and we don't want to use any bridges okay so I think that looks probably good for the time being so fingers crossed I, I still in terms of theory it's still fairly difficult to try and sort of just establish something that sort of just dictates how you should manage certain things so I'm not gonna lie it's still a bit nervous because it's like I don't have this theoretical structure in my hand but I do have this sort of like sense of um management it's like I can sort of just look at the big picture I can sort of just see things that are happening it's like here this this can be a problem these can be a problem because they're sort of like hanging outside there and I know I don't have enough trams to take care of them so much so I'm gonna need tram do I need more tunnels I don't think so I think a new line to deal with this problem up up the left here will certainly be more handy however the main problem with that line is that they're all circle stations up here and now we've we've got a we've just got another spell thrown in the works so um I think the best solution for now is to have a, have this new line sort of just thread through some of the more important stations and just it would just help in moving some stuff around I actually wonder if I can attach this to the no I can't okay so it's not the most efficient but it will help move some stuff around where congestion problems may occur so I think we'll have to leave it as that for now um the that's right that's the other thing we or I do not know like how the algorithm goes in sort of like the train moving around picking up customers and distributing them distributing them distributing them to certain stations like how does it decide whether to drop this customer at this station and so on and so forth so I feel like there's something we can only really achieve through observation and um, already, already we're starting to see some problems here with the blue at the back here, but the the which is worrying. So I think, and the the, the, the other the other problem is that we've only got one tunnel, which means that we can only reorder one line that's already crossing both. Or, or uh, I'm just trying to think. Okay. What do I want to do here? I think maybe if I disable the yellow line and um, take take its tram. Wait, did I did I even have a tram for the? Okay, I, I, I want to put this tram on the blue line here, and um, that should hopefully alleviate some some of the congestion problems. Okay, so fingers crossed. I really, I've already got three trams working on this, which is probably not a good sign, but maybe it's also my overreaction, and that maybe I can actually afford to sort of just have a an extra tram on this. But certainly, it means it does seem to appear that. I feel like maybe sort of like yeah okay so really really oh oh goodness um the problem is if I extend this blue one over here it's really stretching out the distance more than I am comfortable with so that's really not something I would like to have to do but it looks like I don't have much of a choice in the matter especially when this line is certainly getting a bit overburdened not gonna lie um but the weekend's coming soon so this will still still be able to be handled for now but yeah i'm worried i'm i'm definitely gonna need a new line and its own separate train to deal with this area here so please sunday please come forward fairly soon uh actually you know what i will just actually build a new line right now um I'll just loop it through this square and um, okay 
do I want to move one of the oranges one? No, I do not. But do I want to move one of the blue ones? Yes. But which one? At least the week is almost over, so we should get some resources to help us out with this area and this area. But I don't imagine it surviving very long afterwards, so... Oh boy! Tram. Yes. Carriage. Yes. Okay, carriage. We'll attach one to this green one. Tram. We'll add one to this yellow. Now, uh, this is literally sort of just going around everywhere. So there's a triangle. A star in the pot. Yeah, um, I don't think I could do any better for this. Let's, I'm just trying to think. Maybe I can move one here and then bring it back to the end. Because ultimately we still got one square station in the middle here, which is pretty much the main problem. So it's still a bit hard to sort of figure out what's the best way in handling in dealing with it. And, um, I guess... Oh boy. I have a feeling I'm not gonna hit a thousand this time round. But, um... Okay, okay, um... Yeah, I'm... I'm just, okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna attach this green to this yellow. So that it's got more capacity. That I should have done that to begin with. How could I? Yeah, I should have done that to begin with because there's more capacity here. I need basically need more stuff with and that sort of thing. So um, just and then hopefully that will. Hmm. Well, it looks like I'm actually going to reach a thousand. So I'm actually. Alright, this part is definitely dealt with. This part is going to be the problem. Um, I'm hoping they'll hold out before Sunday comes, but I, I think the main problem is that it's, it's, got, it's a bunch of surface stations here. So, the, these guys are stuck until another train comes along to relieve them. And then, oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright, easy now. Hopefully this carriage will be coming along soon. Be patient, guys. Be patient. I'm doing the best I can. I've broken a thousand. So I think I'll be quite happy if we sort of just if we just sort of lose from here. So certainly yeah, we can see there's a lot of congestion happening here. And we've got another annoying thing to deal with. We're out of tunnel so I can't extend the yellow line around and then sort of just loop loop back onto itself. That would be really nice. Maybe um, oh boy, okay, um, I think at this stage, I'm gonna have to call it quits, I'm, um, I can, I can either, like, just take another 10 minutes reordering everything, or I can just tram, carriage or tunnels, carriage or tunnels, carriage or tunnels, um, uh, I, oh man, I want carriage, okay, uh, let's add a carriage to, to yellow or to blue? I think I'm gonna add it to blue and since blue is on a loop, it means stuff will move around e stuff will move around a lot more easily. So I think it makes more sense to put put one on blue. So um oh, oh boy. I think I'm dead anyway. <laughs> Patience! There's only, my, my trains can only move so fast here, thank you, well, game over, but we've broken a thousand, we've definitely, um, we've definitely broken 300, which means that we'll definitely be able to play the next city in this series, which is, you know what, let's, let's just double check what that is, come on, 
So Hong Kong. Okay, so build Hong Kong match with rep and do rapid population booms. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how I went. So look, looking forward to um dealing with Hong Kong next week. I'm actually mm, mm, no, I'm thinking about Japan, which is which is Osaka. I'm thinking I'm thinking like about the Asian concerns. So Hong Kong next week. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.